out for those watching early. Just trying to get the announcements so that you can see what you need for Mass today and who we're thinking of. So hopefully we'll get you sorted there now a bit better. Please God. I'll just bring you back. I hope you can read that and good morning and happy Easter. So I'll just say 
Good morning to you before Mass. Give a few parish announcements before Mass, if that's okay. But firstly, Happy Easter. Jesus is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. So uh, just on a parish announcements front, as I check whether I've turned on my radio mic or not. Um, anyway, so just what you'll need today. So you still have a minute. Holy water and your candle that you lit on Holy Thursday. A picture or statue of Jesus for the spiritual communion. Now this is important. Be it 40 sweets, bars, cards or matchsticks. Dahi, as much as I love you, you can't eat the Easter eggs till afterwards, okay? Right? As much now as I love you, but keep that in mind. But you will need 40 maybe sweets, bars, cards or matchsticks. Play cards would do. Happy Easter. Get dressed up. Jesus is risen. Hymn sheets today. So on the hymn sheet, City of God. So sing up. Don't leave me on my own. Shepherd of my shepherd is the Lord. Orn and Co. Right? You know who you are. Sing up. And peace like, like a river. Sing up or else. And we might come back to a few of the announcements after. And just as I bring you over to the place where I'm going to start Mass in a second, I'm just going to let you see some of the photos and pictures that are filling the church. And I'll give you a sense of the families and the places that people have come from and sent pictures from today. And we're, we're, we'll keep taking pictures. So thanks for that. I hear the bell just gone, so already I'm late. So sorry about that. And we'll, we'll start Mass then uh, literally in a moment, okay? So I'll be right out. For example, before we started, Lisa Stewart sent a picture of the sun shining in Perth. She just wants us all to be jealous here as we look out at the rain today. But for example, there's the Finn and Allen family there. They have lots of people in their picture because they're people from Denmark and London and Birmingham and Dublin and Cork. The Staplesons have photos from people in Australia. The Staplesons and Hanleys. There's families, you know who you are, who have represented yourselves as minions. It's beautiful you've included your grandparents, even though for many of you you're missing your grandparents, so it's great you've included those. And some people you've included the people who've died, which is lovely. And I know Jasmine and Elena, you included your little sister Harper, so well done. And I know uh, we have Ambrose in your picture, uh, Katie and Billy, and, and Nasa, I have your lovely picture as well. And then what's worrying is we have a few people, like there's the Collinses, they drew pick people in tip jerseys. Imagine, tip jerseys. Now, I've let it slide for now. And then I've uh, Noah Cullohan, who has a Liverpool hat on. So there's certain things that I'd be photoshopping. Bear juice to you, Colin Lannery, in your picture you put no Liverpool stuff. I know what yourself and Jackie Dewan are like, so thanks for that. But you'd all the family in the various roles that you play at Mass with Pierce reading, you serving, and your mum being a Eucharistic minister. Now, there could be a lot of noise today, just to warn you of that, because we have loads of animals in church today. There's Sparky and Daisy and Benji and Max and Brucey and Charlie and Toby and Pope and Tank and Pippa and Millie and Lucky and Freddie and Vega, or Vega, I'm not sure, Bailey, Jellybean, Callie, Lux, Gizmo, Ned, Polly, Sky, and Rory. So there's dogs and cats everywhere today. So I hope to God there won't be any noise during this ceremony. There's a lovely picture of the choir to make sure the choir are represented even though they miss not being part of things. And now just to warn you, I've tried to put you in places where you won't be talking to each other. So Max Hennessy, you're in the front row so I can keep an eye on you. And I have the O'Donnells and Mulqueens next year. You better keep an eye on them, you know. And like I said, Dahi, as much as I love you, no eating of Easter eggs during Mass. So we're delighted to welcome you to Mass. Father Casey is joining me. We're all socially distant and all that goes with it. But we're going to begin with a song. It's City of God, 
and thanks to Colette for recording this and, and sending them to me. So join me. about a new day is dawning for all those who weep. The Lord is turning the night into day. And that's what Easter's about. So if you have your candle, for many of you it's remained unlit since Holy Thursday, so we light the candles. I'd ask you to light your candle at home. We have, some of you may have noticed that there's something behind me that wasn't behind me in the last Mass. So I don't know, can you see it there? But we have the we have the Paschal candle lit. So what we'll do, we now light our candle at home. So that's the Paschal candle. And we light this candle and we pray that prayer that you've been praying. I light a candle and suddenly the world around me changes. One small flame is all it takes to let... Oops, I blew out the flame, the wrong one. One small flame is all it takes to let the darkness know that it's that cannot hold. So as we light that candle, we remember all those who are anxious or lonely or sick. We remember those who have died, especially those who've died locally and wherever you are in the world. We remember those who have died. We've had a bereavement in the parish this morning. So we remember that family. We remember you and all your family and your loved ones. And we bring all that to God in this Mass today. So as always when we start, we draw back and we say sorry. And I'm sure when you're living in close quarters, there's probably lots to be sorry about. I'm sure there's been challenges that of living so closely that you mightn't have appreciated before. So, today is a day where you make peace with each other, even if you're kind of falling out a couple of times during the week. So, our God is a God of love and mercy and light. And he wants to heal us and he wants us to be united and to be in love. So, in that spirit, we pray in sorrow, maybe for the times this week, we haven't been as, as, I suppose, positive or as helpful as we could be. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the times we haven't been, maybe, as patient or as understanding as we could be. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And for the times we haven't been as loving as we know we should be. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And so may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And all during Lent, there was a few words we couldn't say. Alleluia, and we couldn't pray the Gloria. Now we can sing Alleluia from the rafters, and we can pray the Gloria from the rafters. And there was a story once of a man who was very sick and was losing a lot of his ability, all his various abilities. And suddenly... Uh, he'd, he'd lost his ability to speak and so on. And, and on the last Easter morning, he wrote, It is terrible to awaken on Easter morning and have no voice to shout, He is risen. But he said, It would be still more terrible to have a voice and not want to shout. We have a voice, even though we might feel it's weakened or struggling. But we, like Pope John Paul used to say, do not abandon yourselves to despair. We are the Easter people, and hallelujah is our song. And so in that spirit, we pray the Gloria with a bit more gusto than we might normally do. I hope you remember the words at home. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. 
We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. And let us pray. So that's what we're here to do. And always at Mass, we just take a moment. So take a bit, a moment of stillness and silence and just pray for each other quietly. The people around you, the people you care for, all our nurses, doctors, carers, all who are sick, all who are dying. So we just take a moment to, I suppose, unite in a spirit of love and prayer. And so we give you and we give your prayers to God and we offer this Mass especially today for the soul of Karen Buckley. So we remember Karen, we remember her parents John and Marion and her family. We pray for Eamon Cronin, Michael Ryan on the occasion of his birthday remembrance and Maudie Hill whose second anniversary it is. And we remember you and your loved ones as we pray, O oh God who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so our first reading. Uh, I was going to say you can be seated for the readings. I hope you dressed up. I hope you're not sitting there in your pyjamas. Some people have told me they, they watch Mass in pyjamas. It's Easter Sunday. Dress up and show up and all that goes with it. But feel free to be seated, no doubt you are. So the first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. It said, Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been practiced preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself. And also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days later, three days afterwards, not God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead, and he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge people, uh, uh, everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear witness and that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. And this, the, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So join in for the singing of the song.
from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died, and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. The word of the Lord. And as I mentioned, though, we haven't been able to say the Gloria or Alleluia for all of Lent. So you might stand for the Gospel at home and we might read it in songs. Together we sing. Shine Alleluia. Shine Alleluia. Shine Alleluia. to you, O Lord. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark when Mary of Magdalene came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together. But the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen clothes lying on the ground, but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following, now came up, went right into the tomb, saw the linen clothes on the ground, and also the linen clothes that had been over his head, but this was not with the others, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and he believed. Till this moment they had failed to understand the teaching of Scripture that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So just in case you're thrown, I've snuck up behind you. And now here's your chance, and I'm moving the camera a bit, so sorry, hold on to your rosary. You're probably going to get a bit shaken there. So here's where you need those things I mentioned to you for today's liturgy, okay? So you're going to need maybe 40 counters, be it cards or, or sweets or bars or, or matchsticks. So if you're on your own, you might not need them, and we'll, we'll talk you through it. But now last week I had... Every week I have a disaster, and you'd think I'd give up on the old filters. But just, we're going to go with the safe one. I'm hoping I find it okay. And this week, uh, thank God last week, Ollie Deegan was a star who helped me figure out how to turn it off. So this week, I reckon I should be able to turn it off. But now I'm swiping across to, to find my little friend. That I've clicked my little friend. It's working. So... If it is, and obviously there's always a, a 20 second lag on Facebook, so at the moment uh, on my computer I can't see uh, a screen. So the, yes, it's up and running. So here's what you do for this. We're going to tell the Easter story, but you're going to divide yourself into teams, right? So you can divide yourself and everyone has to come up with a buzzer sound. So in your families it can be adults against young people or young people, a mixture. So you come up with a buzzer sound. It could be snap, crackle and pop. Decide on your sound, okay? Then I'm going to tell a story. Whenever the Easter story, and whenever you hear the name of a sweet or a bar or a biscuit, you make a buzzer sound. Whenever you hear the word egg mentioned, you make a buzzer sound. And first person in gets one of the, the, the matches, the sweets, the bars. But if you buzz in for something that's already been said or for something that isn't a bar, sweet or chocolate, you lose the, the bars, one of the bars you have. OK, so that's what you've got to do. I'll keep an eye and see. You can post up some of the bars you think you've recognized in the story 
and I'll hopefully be able to tell you how it goes. I might read with a bit of dramatic effect at stages just to kind of keep you on your toes, okay? Don't be distracted by my glasses and dicky boards, okay? So, the Easter story. At the beginning of time, God in his love created the earth. It was full of wonders like the sun and the moon. There were galaxies, the Milky Way, planets like Mercury and Mars, an incredible starburst. It was beautiful. God created Adam and Eve. One day, they had the munchies and decided to have a picnic. Now, I'm going to see, has anyone thrown in an answer yet? You can be trying to compete with each other, uh, those watching, and seeing if you've named any of the bars of chocolate or sweets that I've already mentioned. Because at this stage, I've named about seven. So if you haven't heard them, you're a bit behind. So, like I said, they, they decided to have a picnic. They planned on just having some fruit and nut, but a whisper from the serpent encouraged them. Now, I see here one of my problems. Uh, sorry, there's always a technical hitch. Now, uh, so, oh, well done, Fiona Hogan. I was wondering, was anyone answering, but my thing was up. Asher, your lows, your lows answering. Dear Dr. Finnegan got Starburst, Milky Way, Mars, Galaxy, you're all over it. Anyway, so you're in the zone. They planned on just having some fruit and nut. But a whisper from the serpent encouraged them to eat from the forbidden tree. So suddenly the relationship between God and his people had been damaged and they left the garden and all its beautiful flowers and roses. Oh God, you're really in the zone. There were many excellent prophets and leaders in the Old Testament who tried to bring people back to God. Moses led the Exodus and brought his people out of Egypt. Daniel, Jeremiah and Ezekiel let the people know exactly what God wanted. God walked with his people even when they went astray. You're flying it with your fruit and nuts, well done. Finally God realized that the best way to guide and love his people was to become one of them. And so the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary with some very exciting news. The angel told Mary that she was to become the mother of his son. How could this be, she wondered. She wasn't even married, and she was sure that this news would ripple through the village like wildfire, and then everyone would judge and sni her and snicker. An angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and reassured him that this was all part of God's loving plan. And so it came to be. Jesus was born in a stable, as poor as poor could be, not even a dime to his name. There was nothing extraordinary about his childhood. However, everything changed on the day he was baptized. The Spirit descended on him like a dove, and with the help of the Spirit, he led a life of incredible love and compassion. He healed the sick, he forgave and excused sinners, he fed the hungry. He didn't focus on the wealthy or the hobnobs. Instead, he focused on the poor. He ate with sinners, and there's even a story of a woman who had been forgiven covering his feet with kisses. People were kinder surprised as he reduced the 642 laws of the Torah to one thing, love. He said, all we have to do is love God and love our neighbor as ourselves. How are you doing? Extraordinary. Well done, Winter Sisa. Breed Madigan. Eggs. Excellent. Exciting, Chris. I see where you're going. Eggs all over the place. I know. Sorry. Now, his disciples followed him and noticed that as well as caring for people, he used to take time out to pray and talk to God. Here was a leader that didn't expect others to serve him. Instead, he served them. Nobody felt that they had to walk on eggshells around him. While he challenged those in power to everyone else, he lifted their hearts and gave their spirits a much needed boost. How are you doing? Right, hobnobs. Well done, Christine Murphy. Was that you or Shane? Well done. Uh, on Pan Sunday, Jesus came into town, not in a car or on a double-decker bus, but on a donkey. He went through the streets, not just the quality streets, but every street. And people lined the streets 
and welcomed him with great joy. Now remember, if people buzz in at the wrong time, take a bar from them. The authorities were up to their old twicks again. They were afraid of how popular Jesus had become. They knew that Judas was a bad egg, and they offered him a bounty of 30 pieces of silver to catch Jesus. How are you doing? Quality Street, well done, Debbie. Uh, now, what? The, sadly for Jesus, there was no escape. The authorities fudged the issues and had him arrested and sentenced to death. On that day, Jesus died on the cross. There was a chill and an eeriness in the arrow. Throughout it all, Jesus forgave his enemies and put himself in God's hands. It wasn't nails, but love that held him to that cross. Love for you. His followers and disciples were brokenhearted. Their good friend had died, and it all seemed like a failure, a disaster. But Sunday was coming. Early on Sunday morning, it was after eight in fact, the women went to the tomb to find it empty. They learned that Jesus had ridden, risen and he appeared to them. Uh, shout out there to Trevor, I see I misread uh, a bit. Uh, there's no hot cross buns, Declan Keane, for God's sake. Uh, this was not just good news, it was the best news ever. They twirled around and ran off to tell their disi the disciples their exceptional news. Jesus rising from the dead reassures us that life is stronger than death, that light is stronger than darkness, that hope is bigger than despair, and that love is the most powerful force in the world. Is it any wonder, of all the celebrations in the church's year, Easter is the biggest and the best? Now, that was the Easter story in chocolate. Well done, Bernie. Fudge, arrow, after eight. Uh, you're, you're in the zone. Well done, Coit. I hope Podrick was helping you on those ones. So, now, after that, my next question, we will post up the answers on our Facebook page afterwards, just in case. I know when families get together, there'll be all sorts of division. Did he say that? Did he? I hope he played fairly. It's Easter Sunday. Be Christian, for God's sake. Now, what bar in all those bars named might hint at the message of the resurrection. And I'll send it out to you, whoever gets that first. I know there'll be a lag, but what bar in all those bars that I, na that I named could capture the message of the resurrection? And I'm going to just wait and see who comes in first. I could sing while we wait with my dicky bow and my glasses, but I won't do that to you. No, no answer yet. I named one bar, and I'll have to tell you the answer if I don't get it, which is fine. To be awful shocking on Easter Sunday morning if you couldn't have picked out one of those bars and went, actually, that has the message of the resurrection. Not roses, Anne Marie Egan. Oh, but sure, look. Uh, celebrations, Priva Mahali, not bad, not bad, but there was one bar mentioned that kind of captures. Risen, oh, I didn't mention Risen as a, I didn't think of that as a bar, Catherine, but thanks again, and thanks Eve for the cooking. Uh, no, nobody has mentioned it yet, right? So I'm sorry to say I'm going to get to keep this bar, which is fine by me. I'm going to start to show you it now, unless it pops up. Right, okay, I don't think it's going to pop up, which means I get to keep the bar, so it's win-win. The bar I had in question, boost, right? The boost bar, by its name, boost means to lift. And you can't lift something that isn't already there. So if you wanted to so someone, for example, to boost the heating in your house, well, you can do that because there's heating in their house. If you wanted someone to, to boost the numbers at something, well, there's already numbers at something. Boost is something that lifts us. The resurrection reminds us that Jesus is risen so we can rise too. It's not just about afterlife whereby there's life after death. The resurrection is as much about life before death as it is about life after death. The spirit of resurrection is that spirit in Jesus and the same spirit is in each of us that helps us to rise. So if there was a bar that reminds us of that spirit of resurrection that's not just in some of us, 
It's in all of us, irrespective of how we feel. It's the boost bar. So, nobody named it. So do you know what? I'm going to keep it. Thanks anyway. So now I'm going to move you back and we're going to pray the prayers of the faithful. And sorry again for the movement. I hope you're okay with that and we'll be back where you are. And here's the moment where I just slide across today and I'll turn off the filter effortlessly, I hope. And so what we do now is we bring our prayers to God. So Carlo Coretto once said that Jesus' resurrection makes it impossible for man's story to end in chaos. It has to move inevitably towards light, towards life, and towards love. In and through our prayers this morning, we, may we move inevitably towards light, towards life, and towards love. So we pray for the church. We pray that we will be a church of the resurrection, a church of hope, particularly at times of despair, a church of light in times of darkness, a church in love in times of sadness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The stone had been rolled away from Jesus' tomb. We pray for the people in our lives today who are rolling stones away by way of trying to help people. So we think of the doctors, the nurses, the carers, the, the pharmacists, the chaplains, the guards, the people on post, wherever we turn. Those who are generously and bravely going into work every day as such helping and caring and trying to free people from their sicknesses and their struggles. May God bless and protect them and their families and their friends. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Easter is our assurance that God can bring wholeness out of brokenness, hope out of despair and light out of darkness. May we cooperate in this work and play our part in spreading wholeness, hope and light wherever we go. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who are sick at this time, especially those sick with the virus. Again, those who care so bravely and generously for the sick. The families of the sick who maybe can't be as close to them as they would like. It's awful. So in the midst of this, we pray for healing and light and strength and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for you, you and your families, and the challenges you face. Inevitably, it can be hard living at such close quarters for some. But remember, there's other people listening who are alone and would give anything for a house full of noise. So the very noise that wrecks your head might be the noise that would bring life to others. So wherever we are, we pray for the graces that we need at this time. We pray especially for those who feel lonely and isolated. We pray that they can trust while they're on their own, they're never truly alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear I've been asked to pray for Leaving Cert students. Things have changed so much, and teachers, uh, so I know things have changed, and that can be unsettling for our Leaving Cert students. I'm going to give no advice about the Leaving Cert. I loved it so much I had to do it twice, so that's a whole other ball game. But we pray for you. We know it's a difficult time to be doing, be it college exams or Leaving Cert and the ground changing. But we, I won't... There's no words that can kind of take away your anxieties or whatever around it. So we hope you can mind yourself and give yourself space to breathe and, and, and live and not be studying all the time and all that goes with it. But we hope you find the peace and, and the hope and the light that you need in case you find those new decisions difficult. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our dead. We pray for all those who've gone before us. We remember, as I say, a parishioner, sadly, who died this morning. We offer this Mass for Karen and Buckley. So we remember Karen. We remember John and Marion and the family. We remember Eamon Cronin, uh, Michael Ryan, whose birthday remembrance it is, Maudie Hill, whose second anniversary it is. We continue to pray for Siobhan and McCarthy, who died in the parish and whose funeral is today. We remember Mikey Benson, and Pauline McGovern and Seamus Walsh, all their anniversaries occur around this time. We remember your loved ones, and inevitably people may have posted names of loved ones. We give them to God, and Easter reminds us of any time than any other time in the year, Easter reminds us that love never ends.
so their love. So death might end the life, but it can't end the relationship. So we pray for all those who are grieving and all those who have died. We pray you'll find healing and peace. Now, I was meant to renew your baptismal vows, so we, we might renew your baptismal vows if that's okay. So we'll get you to stand up at home, and uh, here's where we give an address, and you say, the answer you say, I do. It's good practice, especially for the younger people in the house, saying I do. You know, there could be a day, you, when you're older, you could be standing at the top of this church saying I do, and your world will never be the same again. Just look at how your parents are now looking at each other, and you'll know what I mean. So, here's where we say, this is what we're the faith we believe in, and this is what we want to pass on to others as well. So, dear brothers and sisters, we've been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Church. So I ask you, so remember the answer is I do, out good and loud. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. And do you believe in a God who is the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. So well done with your I do's. We could hear them here, good and loud. And now we pray, may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. And so we bring our, our gifts to God and you can be seated for the, as we pray our prayers over the bread and the wine. And we pray, blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. It's the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. And Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. So we pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifices by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we pray the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, on this day, though, above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a 
similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Brendan our Bishop and all the clergy and people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And it's through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. And so we pray our family prayer. And I know the news the other night when we're told this lockdown continues for another few weeks, uh, that can hit people hard. But each time we pray the Our Father, and I'm more aware of it now than ever, so sorry if I've said this a hundred times already, but we pray, give us this day our daily bread, because we only live life one day at a time. And if we try and take on it all at once, it'll be too much and overwhelming. So for me, while Pope Francis has encouraged us to pray this prayer a lot, actually it reminds us, Lord, just give us our daily bread, our daily grace, our daily strength. Not tomorrow's, not yesterday's, just today. So you might keep that in mind as you pray. And actually, as you wash your hands, it takes about 20 seconds to wash your hands, and you can have the Our Father said, so I've noticed. So you could use that as well. But as we pray this prayer, we pray that we are connected because it's all about our Father, not just mine, it's all of ours. And we ask God to give you, wherever you are, the daily bread, the daily grace, the daily strength that you need. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be heaven. thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread. 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 And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. And we pray for peace, and we all need peace, so we pray for peace for each other. Uh, as we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And so may that peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. And so we send that peace out, especially to those watching or listening locally on their own or anyone, wherever you are on your own. And as if you're with family and friends, you can offer each other the sign of peace. Father Day, we'll give us ourselves a distant sign of peace, but let's offer each other the sign of peace. Because we're like karate, karate men bowing to each other. So we, we send that peace out to each other. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Us peace. And 
so we pray behold jesus we don't say he was risen but we say he is risen so he's among us his spirit is in us he gives us that spirit to rise so we pray behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be and so what we do is, I know you can't physically receive communion, but we make a spiritual communion. I know often Claudia and Marie, who do such great work behind the scenes, might throw up the prayer of spiritual communion. But it's a moment where we enter into communion. We're tied together with strings of love and prayer and find a bit of communion within ourselves and with God, with others and those who've gone before us. And we'll play a piece of music as we do. Father David to read a reflection for us that reminds us what's at the heart of the Easter season. And the reflection is called, We Can Rise Too. What a disaster, my beloved leader killed. A life of love and healing, his mission fulfilled. Our hearts badly broken, it felt like the end unaware of the great gift that God was to send. When all seemed lost from the dead, Jesus rose to scatter our fears and to comfort our woes. This amazing event, once doubted by Thomas, thousands of years later, still contains a great promise. Death can no longer end a life. Darkness is always banished by light. Hope will always overcome despair. Suffering passes and people care. Fear no longer robs us of strength. Days of life aren't measured by length. Falling and failing happen to all. Getting back up is our constant call. Grief and goodbyes are not forever. When things are tough, never say never. Because Jesus is risen, we can rise too, not just in death, but in all that we do. Thanks a million, uh, there, Father David, for that. And we, we pray our, our final prayer. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favour, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so just, we'll finish our, uh, the couple of uh, announcements and trying to keep the time better for you and get, uh, this week, sorry. So when we have finished, I'll bring the phone over to those who want to stay on for the announcements. Normally people still, uh, in, I know sometimes in Mass there are the people who go at communion time, so I, I don't think you can do that now, you're, you're at home, or maybe you can, but after we've sung the final song, I'll bring you over to the notes of more, just to remind you of a few notices. But in the meantime, just to say after Mass, uh, when we're finished the song and the announcements, we're going to go up and ring the bell uh, for one o'clock. And it's a time where we encourage people to maybe go out and say, Jesus is risen, and clap all those who work on the front line, our doctors, nurses, carers. I know in Kilmallock area, we have so many, have so many people I know and love who work in that area. So we think of them the whole time. 
So I'll go up and ring the bell. So the local people will hear the bell ringing for three minutes. And if you want, step out and say, Jesus is risen, hallelujah, hallelujah, and clap our good workers. Uh, then on the art front, feel free to keep sending family pictures to us. Uh, just send them to myself or Father Casey. We'll make sure they get to the seats of the church. We remember in our prayers today our, our fellow priests as well. Uh, there's priests even in our in the parishes in our area who are cocooned. So we think of Father Kennedy and Father Pat Blewett and Father Tony Blewett and Father Tim O'Leary and Father Tom Coughlin and all the priests of our diocese who are cocooned and missing what is so important in their life. No different to Maureen and the choir and all those who miss those things. So we send out our love to them. And just uh, before the final song, because it's the action song, same one as last week, so you should be better this week. I could drive you down to do the action song for Father David. So, but we, we thank Father David very much as well. Uh, and you'll hear me afterwards to thank Marita and Paddy and Jack and Colette and all who helped. But more importantly, thank you for being with us. Just to share with you an Easter story, there was this man who was on holiday with his wife and mother-in-law in the Holy Land. Sadly, the mother-in-law died. So then they were faced with a decision and the local man there and the local undertaker said, you can bury your mother-in-law here in the Holy Land. It will only cost 500 euro, but to take her home will cost you about 5,000 euro. And the son-in-law said, we're, we're taking her home. And the man was very impressed. And he says, are you sure now? You could bury your mother-in-law here for just a fraction of that, 500 euro. And he says, no, no, we're definitely taking her home. And your man was very touched. He says, oh my God, you must think so highly of your mother-in-law. To which the man replied, I only know of one person you buried here in the Holy Land. And he rose after three days. And I'm not willing to take that chance. I'm sure none of you feel like that about your mother-in-law. But anyway, I can say that because I don't have one. So, but more importantly, on behalf of Father Casey and myself and the parish of Kilmallock and Bulgan and Martinstown and Ethengarry and Dart, wherever you are in the world, we send Easter blessings to you. And we pray the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless and keep us all and fill us with the light, the hope and the joy of Easter, today and always. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, this Mass is ended. Don't go in peace because we have our final action song to do. Stay in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I'm going to come down to you now and move the camera. And we gave you the actions last week. So for those who are new, I hope this is all right. We'll put that there and hope for the best. For those who are new, you'll pick them up. People were sending me pictures of uh, family doing the actions better than me, I might add. So... It's got, I've got peace, I've got love, and I've got joy. Big smiley face. And it's peace like a river. Uh, I've got love, love like a mountain. I want to hear a clap. And joy, big smiley face like a fountain. Okay? You know it from last week. And for those who are new, uh, good luck with it. So, uh, just join in. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. Yeehaw! I forgot the yeehaw. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. Yeehaw! Now love. I've got love like a mountain, I've got love like a mountain, I've got love like a mountain in my soul. Yeehaw! I've got love like a mountain, I've got love like a mountain, I've got love like a mountain in my soul. Ye joy, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy, smile like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Ye ha, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Ye ha, now join the tree together, keep up. I've got peace, love, joy like a river, mountain, fountain. I've got peace, love, joy in my soul. Yeehaw! I've got peace, love, joy like a river, mountain, fountain. I have peace, love, joy in my soul. Yeehaw! Joe Wicks wouldn't get a look in. Anyway, thanks for being with us. Just to remind you, feel free to send in your, your family photos. We'll put them in the church. I'll give you a look at them now and we'll give the final parish announcements.
and I think that's it uh, for now. So I'll just ex hold on to your rows of reeds as I spin you around so that you get to see some of the pictures in the church for, for now. So you'll see those pictures. And I'll just bring you over to our announcements. They're, they'll be brief, don't worry. And then I'll go up and ring the bell. So there's thanks there to Jack, who is our tech support man, cameraman yesterday when we need him and for the Holy Easter ceremonies. Thanks very much, Jack and the family. Marita and Paddy, who are always working on the Facebook and keeping things on touch. Mary, uh, who sent a lovely wreath for our candle. Colette for the music. I probably never do it justice. Your, your music is lovely. It's my singing that will, will be the death of us. Adrian Morden, just thank you very much. Uh, I still haven't gotten to reply to your text to thank you, but I really appreciate it. Catherine and Eve, thank you. And by the way, that answer, Risen, probably actually, I didn't really think of a bar like that, so I think I'll give you the boost. Skull Makalog and Leone, thank you so much. Uh, Leone is the principal in Skull Makalog. I'll tell you a little story about Leone, and Leone won't mind me telling you. Leone, the school, they couldn't be nicer, we're very lucky. And they sent out a message to families to bring their family pictures, to drop their families at my door, okay, their family pictures. But in the first post, uh, Leone forgot the word uh, pictures. And for a moment, it was encouraging the locals to drop your families to Father Chris's door. Now, a lot of families, Leone said this herself, a lot of families probably would be willing to do that at the moment. Don't drop your families to my door, drop the pictures. But thanks so much to Leone and Skull Makalog and also the O'Donnells for the beautiful daffodils. And uh, I mentioned Hannah and the, uh, she had a helper with the flowers. And then again, they're the people we say, extend our sympathy to. And a few greetings, uh, Martin and the 61st Infantry who are in Syria. Jane, you're 88 today, happy birthday. During the week, we had Nadia turn 18. Lawrence and Kakesha became teenagers, so well done. We say a shout out to Lawrence in Vietnam. How are you, Lawrence? And then Andrew and Jen and Paddy and Sheila had children. So congrats to all. Thanks for being with us. We hope you stay well, stay safe, uh, and stay home. And God bless. And I'll go ring the bell now. <laughs>